What's up YouTube, this is Prince at ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to go over my 9 tweaks of the week and I'm going to run over them real quick and you guys can go in the city and check them out for yourself and get which one you want to get. So the first one is called Predix. Predix basically when you tap on it or when you set up the activation method, mine is long press on the home button, it will pop up and it will show you your like when your phone is going to die. So mine is going to die in 4 hours and 5 minutes. So that's when it's going to power down. If I plug my phone in, it will show me when, when it will finish charging. So mine will finish charging in 1 hour and 21 minutes. And you could also go in there and change the colors and all that if you go into settings. Look at that. Should be, where is that, right there. Predix. could change it, could enable it. Show battery percentage, change the background color, change the label color, and just set it up however you want to set it. And you gotta set the activation method. Mine is whenever I long press on there, it pops up just like that. Then you tap and it goes away. So that's my first one, guys. And my next one is called I Release. I Release basically, let's go right here. You could enable it, you could set up a left gesture. So, left side of the status bar and right side. My right, my left side is. To go home and my right side is to quit all apps so if I go here and I want to exit out all I have to do is just hold on to the status bar on the left side hold on come on there you go and the apps quit and the app quit and if I want to kill all the apps that's running in the background I have one running in the background all I have to do is hold on to the right side of the status bar oh, it didn't work that time See that? The app is gone. So that's what quick release does, guys. It's kind of hit or miss because you don't even know when the app has been deleted. It would be good if you had a notification or something that lets you know all the apps was deleted in the background. But it works. So, yeah. And then the next one is called One Tap Clear. This is for notifications. And if I had any notifications, all I had to do was hit it one time. Hit the X one time and then it will be gone. Everything will be gone. So that would be one tap clear, guys. I don't really have any notification right now. But if you had notification, all you do hit the X one time and all the for that for each section, like for each app, if I had ten Facebook notification, I tap it one time, they're all gone and it would just delete them just like that. So that one tap clear. And then my other one, this is a little fun tweak, it's called Reach the Nyan Cat. Reach the neon cat, so let's let's go. Let's open up an app. Let's open up Netflix. If I double tap, you see that? And the so that's really cool. That's a little, that's a little fun tweak, guys. Nothing really major, but it works. If you use reachability a lot, come on. If you reach reachability a lot and you want to see something, you could do that. And they also one called Reach Weather. I don't. I'm not going to cover it in this tweak right now, but if you want to. Get a little animation whenever you go to use your reachability you could use that one <laughs> okay guys so my fifth one is dark color if you look down here as you can see my dock is green and it's also rounded so the next two so five and six so five is dark color and the other one is round dock just like that so those two that's two tweets right there so round dock you download it nothing to configure it just lets your dock look round just like that. And dark color, you could change the color of your dock. So if I go into settings, I scroll down. See dark color right there? You could enable it and you could choose the color. Let's go in there, let's just just switch up this color real quick. I have it on green. That's red. Okay, let's leave it at that color. Let's go back out now. You can see whatever color it is. Let's make it a little bit transparent. And I'm gonna apply changes. And eyesight is the theme I'm using right now, guys. Whenever I reboot, instead of showing the apple, it shows eyesight. So you guys could also check that one out. Slide to unlock. I know you can see the dock. <laughs> Exit that out. So, yeah, my 
I look for on the ground. All right. So that's it. That's what dark color does, guys. Now you see it's a little bit different. It's like the color that I chose. And you can set it up to basically any color you want. And the other one is the round dark. So that's a two or three tweaks. So round dark and dark color. Yeah, you could download it and check them out. So the other one, guys, is full NC. Full NC is full notification. So if I go here and I get, if say I get a notification, like the entire um, email will be in the notification. So instead of seeing like one line, you could see like 20 lines, like all the lines. So if I had a notification, this thing would be filled up with a notification. I could read the whole thing all the way down. So that's what full NC does. That's basically a full notification center. It just opens it up and you could see the whole thing easy, like 20 lines instead of like four. So that's real cool. And then the other one is called system wide predictive text. System wide predictive text is basically this. Usually you wouldn't get the predictive text up top if you go to like um, spotlight search, but no, you do. So that it basically enables predictive text throughout your whole phone system instead of just like in typing or regular text and all that. It does do a system wide, as it said, predictive text. And this tweet and this theme for the keyboard right here that's from um, SwiftKey. They uploaded a new, they updated to a new um, Christmas theme. So you guys could check that out. And then my last one is called folder icons. So if you look at my folder right here, one to the left, you see you got a star over it. See that? You got a star over it. So basically that's what folder, if, you, if I tap and hold on a folder, you see I get a little gear and I could set it up. So I could show thumbnail, show labels, show badges. And then the background, I could choose a background. I'm going to make this one blue. And the foreground, I could put like for social, I could put, I'm going to put a world, put the world right there. And then I hit done. And it should pop up, but let me respring. And after the respring, guys, now you can see the world is like in front of the folder. So that's what um, folder icons does, guys. It does let you switch it up. I mean, do something different. That's the whole point of jailbreaking, something different right across the board. I mean, so I could do that one. So let's do another one. Let's make this one that color in the background. And for the foreground, I'm gonna put these for social. And then I'm gonna hit done and then I'm gonna go out and then I'm gonna respring again and show you guys another one and there it is right there guys now you see you got the social in there so that's a cool little way to switch up your um your folders just make your phone look a lot different than everybody else that's the whole point of jailbreaking again so there you go guys those are my nine tweaks of the week Check them out. They're all linked. I mean, they're all written down in the description. And my theme right now is called Eyesight, as I said. It looks pretty cool. Oh, man. So check that out as well. And so all the names will be linked. It will be in the description below. The theme name, the tweaks name. Also videos. If you're not jailbroken, I have two videos down there t showing you how to jailbreak. So it's Prince Today, TP101. Rate, comment, and definitely subscribe for more videos like this. Peace. Thanks for watching.